Hey everyone, Shashank this side. I hope you all are doing well today and safe at home. As you can see on my screen, today we will be going to check out another important topic which is called EC2 Image Builder. So this service will help you to automate the image creation process. So it is basically a pipeline, a delivery pipeline where you just configure once and after certain duration of your schedule, you will get an proper AMI or a new AMI based upon all the new patch update, all the new drivers update, all your softwares, whatever you defined, right? So that's how uh, easy to image builder looks like. It is used for building and maintaining and securing your images. So let's go ahead and check out the concept behind which this is working on and I'll show you the practical demo as well. So EC2 Image Builder is a fully managed service which helps you to make it easy to build, customize, deploy your OS images without writing a single line of code. So if you remember or if you have not seen one of my video on Systems Manager where I showed you guys how you can automate the process of creating AMIs with all your certain step where it showed you how to update your uh, OS, patches, drivers and everything. But there are like certain steps to be followed to create your golden image with the help of Systems Manager. But this EC2 Image Builder, you don't have to write a single line of code or a script and creating a delivery pipeline will give you a golden image after every month, after every quarter, depend upon what schedule you will be going to define. So you don't have to manage. This is a self-managed service from Amazon Web Services. Comes free of cost, so you don't have to pay for the service, but you have to pay for the resources that you are going to use. It also improves your productivity. So obviously, uh, if it's a one-click deployment project where once configured and never has to be modified or let's say after six months or one, one year you have to modify, let's say you don't want to use Apache, you want to use Tomcat or you don't want to use uh, Apache on, on top of Windows, you want to use IS, then you can do such kind of modification, right? But those are the rare cases that we uh, get into picture in our production environment. So obviously it provides, also improves your productivity in your field as well. To produce a secure and up-to-date images, simple to manage for both AWS environment and on-premises as well. There is a built-in support for validation. So there are like test cases provided by Amazon. You can write your own test cases to uh, validate your uh, created images as well. It's a centralized policy enforcement. So basically you have to give a source image. It can be a custom for sure. If you are dealing with a production environment or staging environment in an IT industry, you should go ahead and create your custom images on top of that, install your softwares or whatever patches and everything you want, right? So you have to give the source image. That's the basic requirement for the EC2 image builder. Once you give the source image, it will customize the software installed on that image. It will update that software as well. Like, AWS CLI, it will try to update the CLI version whenever AWS releases those version like 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, depend. Secure image with AWS provided or custom templates as well. After that, it will test with the help of test cases like validate your golden image and distribute. There is a provision to distribute from one region to multiple region. So you don't have to really configure this in multiple regions. It's like for one region and you can distribute your image across region if you are operating from different region in AWS environment. So that's how the concept uh, is happening behind this particular EC2 image builder. Also, it uses systems manager in background where it takes the help of systems manager to provision and to update your image, the golden image in background. So that's how the practical or that's how the theoretical part looks like. Now let's move ahead to our AWS management console to show you the demo. So that's our AWS management console. We are in uh, compute section EC2 image builder. So if you go to services inside compute section, you will see EC2 image builder. Okay. Now in order to create a delivery pipeline, what you have to do? So there is a button called create image pipeline. Let's click on that. We have to fill out certain information. And again, guys, this is one time configuration once done. Really, you want to modify or you can create a new pipeline based upon the new requirement. So let's give this name as uh, uh, 
golden image pipeline copy this description can be remain same i'm going to uh, check this particular box by default it is checked I, i'm not going to uncheck this box to enable the enhanced metadata collection that will help us to have the additional information from the images as well build your schedule this is the section where you will define your day on which particular day a week or a month you want to provision these images so we have three options one is the schedule builder where you get a frequency of day week or a month which day monday to uh, monday to saturday what time this is utc so based upon that you can create your uh, images one is the cron expression you can define your own cron expression or one is the manual like pipeline will run when you initiate so that's totally a manual effort we don't want to get into the manual effort when there is a delivery pipeline uh, provision is there so i'll go with the default option week monday 9 am utc run the pipeline based upon the schedule or run the pipeline at the schedule time if there is a dependency update so based upon the requirement you can select that click next now uh, you can use the existing recipe or you can create a new recipe let's create a new recipe so we get two type of image option over here one for the docker image one for the amis which is a traditional ec2 ami instances now uh, you can also leverage the docker image option that's a best uh, part of this particular ec2 image builder we have give the name of the recipe again i'll use the same name golden image pipeline you have to give the version number 1.0.0 i'm just using that default number we'll use the same description now source image here you can give the custom ami id i don't have any custom ami id so you can see like aws systems manager agent has to be installed uh, which is a part of uh, pre installed is selected in this ami now i'm going with the manage images which is basically provided by amazon from the marketplace or the free ones that what we get from the marketplace right so you can select any number of images or not the images basically the os section so we have amazon linux windows ubuntu then red hat centos so based upon your requirement you can select what kind of os you are playing with in your environment so i'm going with amazon linux so this is just to showcase you how the practical demo works how the configuration works i don't have any environment running as of now with me so that's why i'm going with amazon linux image origin so quick start amazon manage i'm i don't have any image owned by me so i'm not selecting that i even nobody has shared an image with me so let's click or select amazon linux the arm based 64 use the latest available os version or use the selected specify the os version depend upon your requirement guys this is very flexible enough ssm agent ec2 image builder always uses systems manager agent as part of the image build process now agent is installed for you automatically where you don't have to do anything in the manual step i recommend to use ssm agent on your system or on the image base image itself so that you can leverage the systems manager automation process with the help of aws ssm module so that's why i don't want to uh, check this option remove ssm agent after the after the pipeline execution so i'll leave that as it is user data that's where the bootstrap script will come into picture if you want to install apache is or tomcat web logic depend upon again your requirement you can write a script and it will do the job for you the working directory i'm going with the slash temp that's where the build components that you select like which software you want to install by amazon manage or owned by you or uh, what kind of software so for example let me see okay so i'm going to install aws cli version 2 for linux on this particular base image itself okay you can use code deploy docker dot net core totally depend upon the requirement that what kind of softwares you want to install in your image itself this is where the optional test cases comes into picture so you can select based upon your requirement to validate your images it can be amazon manage it can be owned by me or shared by me you can create your own test component as well so i'm not doing this because uh, i'm just creating a simple image with cli installation okay 
EBS volume, obviously, uh, it's always preferred to encrypt your volume with KMS. Again, if you're not aware of KMS, key management uh, encryption. So please watch my video on KMS. It's a detailed uh, video layout has been done long back for the KMS. I'll share the link as well. Delete on termination, that's basically, I, I generally select this because most of the time I take backups, the snapshots and the AMI. So that's why whenever I terminate, I'll, I terminate the EBS volume as well. Okay, click next. That's where you define your infrastructure part where you can uh, define your uh, infrastructure by default that what Amazon creates. So it will create an IAM role because as you know, like within AWS, one service has to interact with another service, IAM role and policies has to be defined properly. So if you select your infrastructure configuration using the defaults, Amazon will create an IAM role based upon these three policies. Or you can use the existing infrastructure configuration if you have, obviously you have to create if you are doing it for the first time. So you can create your infrastructure. Uh, I'm going with the default option. It will uh, use this default services, VPCs and everything by default, whatever it takes. You can define the SNS topic as well. So click next. That's where the distribution happens. You can distribute this uh, particular image once created to uh, multiple regions. So again, totally depend upon requirement. If you're operating from multiple, re multiple region, I would prefer to distribute this AMI once created, distributed across region. Okay, so I'm operating from Virginia. Click next, review, and finally, click on create pipeline. So what this will do, this will be going to create a delivery pipeline for you, but it will not kick off the delivery pipeline because it has been scheduled for uh, Monday 9 a.m. UTC. As you can see, I have two. So this is the one that we created. How you can test this now? So click on this golden image pipeline, go to actions tab. You can kick off the process of running a pipeline. So let's click on run pipeline. It will Ex it will start executing the process of the pipeline delivery as of now it is in pending state. So now this has been changed to building state. What this will do in background, it will try to create an instance first. So let's go to the instance. As you can see, build an instance for the golden image pipeline. That's the name tag already been done. That's the default uh, instance type that Amazon has selected. That's the default VPC and everything. So based upon this particular instance, it will try to create an image in background. So first of all, it will try to install the CLI, then update all the patches on this particular Linux machine like yum install, update, all those stuff. And finally, it will create an image. It will stop the instance, create an image and terminate the instance. That's how the process happens when it comes to building up your golden image with the help of easy to image builder. So obviously it will take time uh, for creation of the image somewhere around uh, five to seven minutes. So that's the process basically I wanted to cover up with how you can create your golden image with easy to image builder as service. So play it around with your account, try to create multiple pipelines with different softwares like uh, one for Windows, one for Ubuntu, one for Amazon Linux or depend upon what kind of software or OS uh, platform that you guys are using for your application within Amazon Web Services. Try to play it around guys. If you're facing any issue, place out a comment in comment section and I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.